it's monday i have an audition in an hour that i'm very nervous for but also excited for so i'm trying to just like lean into the excitement and then i wrote down a to-do list yesterday so i have my audition and then i need to record my patreon podcast because it's really late and then i need to do um gonna edit the apartment tour of my old video and oh that's all i have planned for today great but the editing is probably gonna take me a while okay cool can do calm do great um so yeah i'm currently printing out my headshot and my resume oh also fun fact i thrifted this dress yesterday hang on i thrifted this dress yesterday from value village it cost me twelve dollars and it fits like a dream oh god and it fits like a dream and it's so soft and there's this really pretty little cutout detail in the back um and i'm very excited because i didn't have an audition dress for like more period pieces i guess or not period pieces but like you know ones that take place during a time where women didn't wear pants so <laughs> Yeah, I was looking for something like this and I found it right before I left the store and it's literally a perfect fit and I'm so happy and it's such a pretty color. And like I said, I'm printing my headshot on my resume, uh, practicing my song and my sides. Um, also, I wish I could have done my hair better, but the thing is, is that my curling wand is completely broken. So we're going with a very au natural look, which is fine. Wish me luck. Eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt. Nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates with a mass propensity towards procrastination and sloth. Of all evil, the, the money, the subjugation of women, the false piety, the false piety, the terrifying violence of that father, and then, oh, show them. The two girls in the rain scene. Oh. It's lesbian, right? Did I misread the play? I thought we were lesbians. Okay, I'm off to my audition. Tell me to break a leg. Um, by the time you see this, actually by the time you see this, I think my callbacks will already be over if I got a call back. Ooh, fingers crossed. I'm not gonna bring you with me because I gotta focus, get my A game on, but I will see you when I get back. Hi, so my audition finished. Fucked up on my song, which is fine. Singing in auditions, like I don't get nervous when I have to act in auditions, but singing in auditions always makes my legs shake. And because I was singing a cappella, it's fine. It's fine. The director knows me. They know what I can do. And so I'm hoping that I'll at least get a call back and I'll be able to do that better. So, oh, this is always the thing after auditions. I just think about everything that I did wrong or that I could have done better. And then I agonize over it for like days. <laughs> So I want to not do that this time. I don't have time to anyway, so I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I should probably also eat food, so I'm going to make myself some kind of lunch. It's a really nice, like, overcast day. It was really sunny this morning, but now it's all nice and overcast. So part of me wants to go walk to a coffee shop to get out of the house and explore the neighborhood, and then the other part of me just kind of wants to sit down here and do shit. Uh, I'm going to record my Patreon podcast after lunch, and then I'm going to do... And I'm going to edit my apartment tour i'll do it here for a few hours and then i might go somewhere else just to sort of get a change of venue but i also have a very important delivery coming today um that i need to be home for so we shall see oh uh, okay 
There's no point in thinking about it because there's nothing that I can do about what I did. So all we can do is move forward. Also, fun fact, I watched so much BuzzFeed Unsolved that it will just play next even after videos that are completely not related because YouTube has just slotted it into all my recommended now. I watch it nonstop. Um, BuzzFeed Unsolved, Ruining History, and uh, Polygon's Overboard series, their Jackbox series, and uh, Griffin's Nuzlocke run, and also uh, BDG's Unraveled. So. Those are pretty much what I cycle through on YouTube nowadays, which is fine. Hi friends, hello, how are we doing? Oh man, I'm in a bit of a... <laughs> I'm in a bit of a weird mood today, sorry. I just finished an audition um, for a show that I really want to be in, and it went okay. It didn't go great, but... We'll see. Hopefully I at least get a call back so I can show people that I'm good at things. Guess what just got here? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Sophie, you can't go outside. Oh my god. New bed! New bed! New bed! New bed! New bed! New bed! Ah! This is that special delivery I was waiting for. Lol. It's very, very kindly that me and Connor a new bed, and I'm so excited! Okay, so now I gotta slide this over to the bedroom. Let's go! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my god. I cannot tell y'all. I am so ready to sleep on this tonight. Hi, Sophie. Sophie's gonna join me for this unboxing experience. Oh my god. We've had a king size bed frame since we moved in, uh, but we've just been sleeping on a full size mattress um, because we've been eagerly waiting for this guy to arrive and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, they even have a little thing in here about like how to responsibly get rid of your old mattress, which is awesome, which is what we did. I actually gave my old mattress to a friend of mine. Oh my god. Look at this. That's a whole ass mattress in a box. Let's get this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh my god. It's starting already. Oh my god, it's so soft. Oh! Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, it's so soft. And it's like almost, it's like almost cool to the touch. The first thing that comes to mind is alpacas. <laughs> like, I, it's as soft as I imagine alpacas are. I'm gonna let this expand for an hour or two and then come back and give it another like squish test thank you lol thank you lol you're amazing you're my new friend i'm so excited so it has been two hours and so now the mattress has had more of a time to fluff up i did put my comforter on it but i oh <laughs> I've never had a memory foam mattress, so I'm very excited. It feels like a dream come true, if I'm being entirely honest with you. I am so excited to cuddle up next to Connor and sleep like an angel in this later tonight. I'm also very excited for Sophie to try it out to see what she thinks. Thank you again to Lull for making my sleep dreams come true. Investing in your sleep 
It's super, super important. And lol is a very good way to do that. They have free shipping, free returns, and you have a risk-free 100 night trial. So sleep on it for 100 nights, and if you're not into it, you can just send it on back. And if you use my unique link in the uh, doobly-doo, you can get $150 off the mattress, which IMO is pretty dope. I wanna see if I can transition this um, to maybe like tomorrow or later or something. Let's see. <gasps> oh my God. Hello. So I spent this morning packing orders and now I'm going to walk to the nearby drop box and drop them off. And then I should probably go get lunch. So I'm gonna go buy um, a sandwich shop and get myself a thammy. And then I'm gonna come home and um, hopefully the sun will have gone behind the clouds so I can keep sitting at my desk. I have to re-record my Patreon podcast because uh, I did not realize that I was out of room on my memory card. And so I did not record like the last half of the episode, which is really frustrating, but that's okay. That's the plan for today. Ugh, I wish it, I just need it to stay cloudy so I can keep sitting at my desk because I don't have curtains up yet. So it's like sitting at my desk with the sunlight, it like is blinding, which is gonna be a problem this summer. Uh, also, slept so well on the new mattress. It was so nice. Uh, <laughs> Connor also really likes it. We feel very, um, we feel very adult because we have this new mattress and we got ourselves a new comforter and all these different things. We feel very kind of on top of our shit, which feels really good. So yeah. Oh, you know what I think I'm gonna do? Actually, on my way back from getting lunch, I think I'm gonna go buy a coffee shop and get myself a latte to perk myself up for the afternoon. So, good stuff. After rehearsal now, I've been editing, but a certain someone, this tiny one, chewed through my uh, charging cable. So now I only have, she's chewed through two of them now. And those things cost $80. So you're lucky you're so cute. My computer ended up kind of crashing and then I lost a lot of process on the video, which was super frustrating. And I've just had a lot of setbacks the last two days, but that's okay. I made some progress on a draw this in your style, which felt good to do a little bit of personal art. So now I'm off to rehearsal and should maybe have a little bit more time to work on that stuff. So wish me luck. I'm about to make my apartment tour of my old place live, which is very exciting because I know this is a video a lot of people have been waiting on, so I'm excited to make it public. There we go. It's live. Yay, there we go. Cool, great. So that's published, uh, so that's done, and so now I am, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make myself some food, I think. Uh, I got a lot of veggies in, so I think I might kind of just want to do a giant bowl of roasted vegetables for lunch, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then uh, work on a couple commissions because I think now my priority is finishing commissions because I have like five left and I need to get those done. Yeah, and then I should be having some new stickers coming in this weekend so I can post those up. Um, I don't quite have enough uh, money right now to order um, new sticker sheets and so uh, but I've ordered these new little die cut stickers so I can sell those and then I'll be able to get a little bit more revenue in so I can get some new sticker sheets made um, because <laughs> because living in Seattle is expensive and moving is expensive tomorrow I need to go to Target tomorrow morning because the sun right here on my desk is killing me so I need to go get a curtain rod and then that's what I will also return some other stuff yeah, tomorrow's, tomorrow's gonna be an errand day. But I've had some dudes patching a wall in my kitchen, but they're gone now. So now I can actually also record my Patreon podcast since I tried to record it on Monday and um, I didn't realize that my memory card was full and so it all got lost. So I'm gonna try that again. And then I have rehearsal tonight at seven. So busy, 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 but it's all good. Could you face the crowd? 
Could you be seen, seen with me, and still act proud? Hey, could you hold my hand, and could you carry me through no man's land? It's fine if you don't agree, but I would fight for you if you would fight for me. Let them drive us underground. I don't care how far. You can set my broken bones and I know CPR. Hmm? What do you need, little one? Yo, Spider. Hello, good man. I have no one thing. You're purring so much. Mama loves you. Okay, so my friend came and got the mattress, so now this hallway's clear. Yay! And now I am grabbing um, some beauty bits to use on stage for the show. And then I need to, uh, this jacket's not warm enough, so. Cool, so Furzel, yay! Do I look good? I, get, I find it so hard to work. <laughs> you look great. Great. How are you today, baby? I'm doing well. Um, let me show you. Working on just Squarespace stuff. God, it looks so good. I'm, I want the, there's the video. The video is good. It looks so good. Um, doing that and I have an interview today and tomorrow, which I'm solidifying. Yeet. Business. Business. How are you doing, bug? I'm good. The lighting here is really weird. Yeah. That's okay. You're glowing here. I am. Um, so I'm going to go to Target and Home Depot and basically do boring errand things. I so, kind of find it fun. Yeah, I'm just going to listen to creative pep talk. Maybe nice. some murder stuff. So. Have fun. Thank you. I love you. Keep, keep an eye on her for me, please. You're my favorite. You're my fave. Mm. Good luck with work things All and work. code things. Yes. I'm just going to put a little bit of makeup on my face because I'm quite, look a little raggedy. Yeah, so I have tech tomorrow from 4 to 10. And then I have tech Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 10. Okay. So you're not going to see me a lot this weekend. That's fine. It's on a calendar. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow's isn't because uh, I just found out about it yesterday. So I'm back from all my errands and I just hung up a little curtain above my workspace and it was so perfect. This uh, length of curtain is called a cafe curtain, which I think is very cute. So now I'm about to hang it up in that one too. I like the shorter length because then it means that I can put plants on the windowsill and stuff. The main thing also is that it just comes up high enough to block the sun coming up over the house next door. Um, but now I can work here during the daytime, yay, without being blinded by the sunlight. And then I got part in the state of our apartment. It's a little bit of a mess right now. And then I got Cadbury cream egg, Cadbury eggs, Cadbury mini eggs because tis the season. Got myself a loofah, dry shampoo, boring. Got, finally got my copy of Kingdom Hearts 3 Deluxe Edition because um, I never got around to picking it up. I still don't have a PS4, but at least now I have this in my hands, which is the most important thing. I will play you so soon. Oh God, okay. And then I also restocked on some Lush stuff because I've been out of face wash and like face cream for a really long time. And then I also got some cute stuff at the thrift store. I really like this little milk pan that I got. I think it's so cute. Um, and then I also got from the thrift store this very cute um, planter. So I think I wanna get, I just wanna get a bunch of planters so that way I can start um, you know, 
so I can start having plants in the house. So I'm very, I'm very excited. Yeah, so now I'm going to finish. I'm going to tidy up a bit, hang the other curtain. Hi, Soph. I'm going to tidy up a bit, hang the other curtain, and then do my Patreon podcast and my commissions. Also need to buy my tickets to my friend's show tonight. So, yep, all good stuff. Also got myself a curling wand because my other curling wand has been dead now for about a month. Um, and so I have not been able to style my hair for like auditions and stuff, which is not great. So now I have a curling one again. Yay! It's a bit of a boring life admin day, but it's all very necessary. So. Oh, I think I'm gonna end. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, I hope y'all have enjoyed hanging out with me for a bit. Um, shout out again to LOL, thank you for the mattress and thank you for sponsoring this video, I'm much obliged. Um, and I will hopefully see y'all soon. Um, I think actually, probably right around the time you're seeing this, my show's gonna be open, so that'll be fun. Cause it's, wait, 14th, we open on the 22nd. Is that next week? Or put, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, so we open next Friday. So I think when you see this, my show will probably be open. That's good, cool. Um, I'm gonna roast these up and eat some tacos. Uh, Connor should be home soon. And uh, yeah, I will see you around. I love you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay brilliant, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Oh wait. Do you want to see Sophie sleeping in her cubby? Sophie! Hi, baby girl! I love you! Go back to sleep. Goodbye! Okay. Bye, y'all.